Sorry for this new voice. The old voice no longer works. Really annoying. But I feel a bit guilty that I haven't published some pulse based tests lately. But there is a special reason for that. I simply didn't want to spend so much time on the treadmill and in front of the computer because of the good weather. This kind of video takes a lot longer to make than the others I've posted lately. For the last month, I have been running every day without having major problems with my head. Not very fast and about 80% in the forest. My form has also improved significantly despite no structured training. I just enjoy being able to run. Today, I ran a half marathon for my morning run. Very slowly, just made sure my heart rate was very low. The only rule I try to train based on is I have to run slower than I feel like. It didn't go quite as well with the head as I had hoped. It was too long I ran without taking a break. There are probably some who think it's just because you're in too bad shape. But on this day, I split my run into three and ran roughly the same kilometers, but at a different pace, without having problems with the head, just tired legs. But now for today's test. Maybe I should just mention that I only have data on the shoes with a max average heart rate on 140. I don't have enough data between the shoes at higher speeds yet. Only when I have completed the test with a higher heart rate will I give my rating of the Under Armour Flow Velocity Elite 2. But I can say if I were going on holiday and I had to choose between these shoes, I would take version 2 with me as it is more versatile. But if I were allowed to bring more shoes, I would choose version 1. An attentive viewer will probably think what is happening right here. It is very important to look at the dates the test took place. Plus, as I said earlier in the video, my form has become significantly better lately because I've been running over 100 kilometers a week. Before my brain injury, I often ran 150 kilometers a week, but here for the last several years, I have only run about 30 to 50 kilometers. So 100 kilometers for me with the condition I'm in is pretty good. And as I have said before, you should always take these tests with a grain of salt. But I do my best to make them as accurate as possible. It must also be said, the first tests I did in the Under Armour Flow Velocity Elite 2, they were brand new. I feel they have gotten a little better after I've run in them. I have a rule when I do my test that there should only be a maximum of 50 kilometers difference between the shoes, otherwise I don't think it's fair. This is one of the reasons why I have two pairs of the same shoes. I'll be back when I've done the final tests and give my full review. Hopefully I'll have the old computer voice back then.